Thank you for purchasing our site selector for iPad and iPhone application. This brief tutorial will familiarize you with its features and operation. The Site Selector Premium and Site Selector Lite versions have identical features. If you purchase the Site Selector Premium, you are purchasing 50 topics. If you purchase Site Selector Lite, you will download only the Anatomy program, which is free. Down at the bottom of the screen, you will see the Store icon. Touching the Store icon will take you to our list of available topics, so you can select and purchase only those topics you want. Press Buy Topic and it will show you the price of the topic. Confirm you want to purchase and enter your password. Touch OK and the program will begin downloading. Be sure to stay connected to your Wi-Fi network until all programs purchased have downloaded. Operation of the application is straightforward. Select a topic you want to show a patient by pressing Start to the right of the topic name. Now you can choose to show a series of still images while you explain them to your patient, or you can play a short animated video with English narration. Glaucoma is called the sneak thief of sight. We recommend showing the still images while interacting with the patient and answering any questions they have during the presentation. Watching the video several times should help you develop your own script for the interactive presentation. Another feature you may want to use while in the still image presentation is the draw feature. To draw on an image, press draw at the top right. At the top left, you will see five colors and two pen widths that are selectable. You can then use your finger or an iPad stylus to draw on the image. To erase, touch the brush tab, or if you're finished drawing on that image, touch the done tab at the upper right. You must touch the Done tab in order to move on to the next image. To exit the still images, touch the Title tab at the upper left. Touch the My Topics tab to return to your list of available topics. If you want to play a number of videos for a patient, you can use the Playlist and Save Playlist functions. To create a playlist, Select the topics you want to play by pressing on the circle buttons to the left of the topic name. Videos will play in the order they are selected. For instance, if I want the patient to see flashes and floaters, I touch both of these buttons. Then touch Playlist. At the top right, I can press Play, and they will play one after the other. If I want the patient to watch it over and over, I can select the Repeat button. You can also move topics around on your playlist. If I want floaters to play before flashes, I can select Edit List, then put my finger on the icon on the right of the topic, and then slide floaters to above the flashes topic. But I prefer to play flashes first, so I'll move it back down. If you want to remove one of the topics you selected for the list, select Edit List, then touch the minus sign to the left of the topic, and then select Delete on the far right. I won't do that now. Since flashes and floaters are programs I often want to show together, I would like to save this playlist so I don't have to recreate it every time. When you select Save in the upper left, a dialog box appears asking you to name the list. Enter Flashes and Floaters and touch Save. To clear the temporary list, select Edit List in the upper left. Then select Clear List in the upper right, which takes you back to the Topics list. When you're ready to play Flashes and Floaters again, simply select the Save Playlist icon at the bottom of your screen, and you will see your saved lists. Here you also have the option of using Auto Repeat or just playing the list one time. Touch Start to begin playing. Seeing flashes of light is a common experience, which becomes more frequent with age. A tip on list creation, enter each topic name in the list name. For instance, if you want to create a list of topics for a Restore patient that includes FACO and correcting astigmatism, you might name the list Restore plus FACO plus LRI. If you go back to your topics list after creating a list, you will notice that the topics you just selected are still highlighted for list creation. You can either touch them again to turn them off, or go back to your playlist and select Edit List and Clear List.
New in version 1.7 is the ability to incorporate our new reception room videos into the Site Selector program. For instance, you may want to consider creating and saving a reception room playlist consisting of a combination of the 10 new reception room programs along with any of the other site selector topics for over an hour of both educational and entertaining programs. Also new in version 1.7 is the ability to add your own videos into your playlist. These can be videos from your camera library, such as patient testimonials you may have created on your iPad, or any videos from your device's video library. To import a video into your device, you must first import the video into your iTunes library. We recommend the MPEG-4 video format. A video that is in a DVD video format will not import into iTunes until it's converted into an MPEG-4 or other iTunes compatible file format. During the conversion process, carefully consider the name you give your video file. Only 25 character spaces of the name you give it will show on your list. Once you have your video in the proper format on your source drive, drag the video file into the movie section of your iTunes library. Sync your device to your iTunes account. Click on your device's name in the left column. Click on Movies on the top navigation bar. Then check the movies you want to import into your device. Then click on Apply, which will start syncing your device again and loading the videos onto your device. To add the program into your playlist, click on Add Videos from Library. Select Video Library. Then select the videos from the list that you want to include in the list. Then click Done. Another new feature in version 1.7 is AirPlay. You must have an Apple TV device connected to your wireless network and your television set to use the AirPlay feature. Select the AirPlay icon at the bottom right of the screen, then select AirPlay, Apple TV. Cataract surgery is one of the most common procedures performed in medicine today. Also, Apple does not support AirPlay for still images inside applications such as the Site Selector. However, if you're using an iPad 2, you can mirror everything you do on your iPad 2 through your Apple TV, including the still images within the Site Selector. To turn mirroring on, first double click, then scroll all the way to the right and click on the AirPlay icon. Select Apple TV and move the toggle switch to on. User feedback and reviews allow us to continually improve our programs. We value your input. Please take a moment to write a review on the Site Selector program and give us your feedback. To write a review on the Site Selector Lite app, access the App Store on your device, then search for Site Selector. Be sure to type in S-I-G-H-T space, then S-E-L-E-C-T-O-R in the search field. In the search results, select Site Selector Lite. If you want to rate the Site Selector Premium app, you'll want to type in Site Selector Premium in the search field. Then select Site Selector Premium in the search results listing. Next, Scroll down the page to the Customer Review section and touch Write a Review. You may be prompted to type in your Apple ID password. Once you've done this, a window will pop up in which you can write your review. In the Rate This field, touch the number of stars you would like to give the site selector. The more stars you select, the higher the rating. The Title field is already filled in. In the Nickname field, you'll want to put in a nickname for yourself. This could be your initials, first name, or whatever name you typically use to identify yourself. You're limited to 32 characters in this field. The next field is where you can type in your review. There's a 6,000 character limit to this field. When you're finished writing your review, touch Submit and you're done. We hope you enjoy using Site Selector for iPad to educate your patients. 
Please be aware that you can have these same programs on your website or running on your office computers with our Site Selector Online and Site Selector Practice Editions. Visit our website at patientedconcepts.com or call us at 800-436-9126 to learn more.